Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai, with the Scramble for the Far East mod. I must say I do understand the Russians. Winter is a godsend, because enemy armies just melt away in the snow, something the snow doesn't. And it really helps when the enemy misaligns their attack with the winter months, because they'll just simply die so quickly. The Obama region, so if we look at the map here, so this region is stabilized, this region is stabilized. I'm hoping though that I'll be able to organize more troops so we can actually move up and take this. Uh, this region is probably the hardest contestant one because we've got the Korga and the Americans. Luckily, though, we've dealt with the Americans and the Koga. They seem to always arrive in winter. So, stupid bastards. Right. But here is where my faction leader is right now, so he's holding up there. Um, I'm planning on... We should probably take a look at taking over the Sado Island. Um, because it's got gold. And currently, as you can see, I make 2,500 per turn. So not a lot. That could easily be wiped out if ports are blockaded or, you know, what it, whatever could happen. Um, so that needs to change. And having the gold from Sado Island would be really great. I'm also... I also have recruited a new ship. So we've got... You can't actually see. It's a wooden corvette. So it has 26 guns. Compared to 18? Oh, I can't remember what the other one has. Anyways, I've sent the other one. No, I haven't. I haven't sent it yet. I haven't sent it yet. Where is it? It's in port down here. There. Um, oh yeah, because I I, I didn't... Um, it's sort of... You have to end turn to have it save. And so I sent it off. Anyways, what, what, what we're going to do... Me randomly babbling here. Um, it's going to discover the text there. No, it's going to discover Korea. I'm hoping because Korea is such a huge... Like, they have so much land. That if we're able to set up with trade with them. That we can make a shit ton of money, hopefully. Um, with that said. I sort of feel as though I've kind of failed my quest. On, you know, ramping up the speed in which I produce... Uh, progress in the videos, so I think we can have sort of to set a concrete goal Might be that I need to conquer a province in each video and I make it around that either if just you know Or like it's set up so in between episodes if I do a really good battle and leaves the castle open like You know in turn next turn and so on, but yeah, so it, so it's a uh, centered around not necessarily centered but a requirement is that we capture a territory each video. Like it's set up to capture one. Maybe not in the episode, but soon enough. In this one, I'm hoping that possibly I could capture two. Depending on how this goes. Now there's a nasty assassin right here. He's high level. Which I don't like. And he's specialized in assassination. Uh, I've gained another general. I don't know if that... Wolfenstein? Wolfstein? I don't know if that happened. No, I think that did happen in the last video, right? That was shown. Same with the guy that I got that down there. So, at this point we um, actually got quite a few generals. We got three generals. The son of the faction leader and the faction leader. And then we got sons of the faction leader here. Although it'll take forever for them to come of age. Because I think they come of age in Shogun when they're 16. Um, so 16 years. That's a lot of turns. 16 years from now. Would be 60... 60... Um, 75. 1875. And how many turns is it in a year? Tons. Anyways. Um, so let's not... Hold our breath waiting for those sons. What I'm thinking here is we're going to advance. We're going to see how these battles go. Depending on how they go. And depending on if there's more troops coming here. My assassin hopefully will find out. Then we'll march in. We'll take this. 
And if all goes well, then I will take this army. And I will march that north up to this area right here. So we'll capture two territories from the Northern Alliance. And I feel as though I made a mistake right from the start. What I should have done is, I sh even though I, the Northern Alliance started allied with the Fukushimas, I should have just attacked the Northern Alliance. It's better off... Now, like, snaking along the coast just opens me up to all these other faction that constantly keep attacking me. Now, the Obama uh, area there is fine, but, like, the British are expanding quite rapidly in this area. So, like, the Obama faction should probably worry about something else than me. With that said, we're going to march in here. I would hope to bring these to battle both of them. Uh, but it looks like we might um, just to make it like in one fell battle. But I think I might be able to, in this way, kind of defeat them in detail. Okay, so he retreated. That's even better, actually. Because then it's th this guy... And then on to this in the next turn. This guy will stand though, will he? Yes, he will. Lots of cavalry, which can be very tricky. Make sure to um, control the ground or control your flanks. Anyways, with that said, let's draw... To why, do <laughs> why do we have such a low angle here? They're trying to get an upskirt picture. And this guy's coward sitting in the mountain. Right, let's go ahead and uh, fight this battle, shall we? For this battle, we have been dealt a pretty bad hand. We start on very uneven ground, then have to move through a wooded area, and the enemy starts on a hill right outside of it. Plus, they've got tons of cavalry ready to charge down upon us. I'm not going to play that game. I'm not going to play it at all. Instead, we're going to take the entire army, we're going to relocate it to the open plain, right here on the left, which will suit my way of warfare. And from there, that's how the cookie crumbles. This is how we will work it. Right, I'm going to station these ready and ready to go in case the enemy gets down towards us really quickly. But, uh, yes, sir, we attack. hopefully that won't happen. The rest of the army... Actually, I'm selecting way too many troops for the front line. We have six here. That might be better. Yeah, six is better. So that means that I'm missing, I don't know, three. Yeah, there's supposed to be three that are missed out by this. That will go to the back. And will be joined by another three. And then these three. Let's see. They are still moping around on the hill. I have time. We're going to deploy three lines of stakes here. That's uh, our spikes. Might be easier to say. Stakes sounds strange. Stakes with barbecue sauce to uh, spit roast those uh, horses that are coming down the hill. Um, deploy the stakes. Deploy the stakes is a useful tactic to uh, confuse and distract. When you're fighting the Americans. Right. Somewhere along the line there. We've got an extra unit. Which I completely missed out. Why I, he's even there. One thing about the spikes or the stakes. Is I'm pretty sure they capture bullets. Like if you um, fire upon a stake. Like, they will capture the bullet. Like, the, the bullet will be captured by the spike. 
Maybe I wish what I should do is I'm thinking there's always like a few cavalry units that manage to break through. If I have cavalry stationed ahead in sort of column formation, ready to count the charge and trap any enemy cavalry unit that comes at it, it will trap it outside and it, we won't have that catastrophic charge into our line that kind of crushes into the line and destroys it. I'm putting the cannons off to the side and then I'm gonna put the cavalry we're gonna put one cavalry like that next to the cannons and then the other one right there we're gonna get our general a little bit closer so I can support and then we have these four covering the flank possibly set up as even extra um, troops of um, reinforcement to plug gaps. They're slowly advancing, they're even bringing a cannon with them. I feel like I can catch, kind of catch them off guard if I advance even a little bit further and then I'm gonna get that guy actually to that point and then we're gonna get the second line a little bit closer I'm gonna tell it to hold fire except for the two at the very corner it looks like they're not coming this way at all but I'm still gonna have them here right so we got the lines firing absolutely tearing up this cavalry unit it's going nowhere Can I get canister fired on this cavalry unit? Or maybe here? Oh, the cannon is bugged. Let's try and uh, have the line shoot down as many of these as possible. Before I order a counter charge. Okay, so we count the charging here. I'm gonna have my cavalry u cavalry unit run through the cannons here to make sure that uh, they're set up and ready. We're gonna inspire this one because that one looks like the one. Oh, this guy needs to come back. They sent a few cavalry units out here. Um, the uh, the spikes hold them. The idea was not to fight them kind of head on, just to kind of block them and make sure that they get shot down. Right, come back here. These guys are coming rather close. The cannon, you know what, I'm not going to bother micromanaging trying to save the cannon or get the cannon to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys to reposition. And then we're going to open fire with these guys instead. We're going to actually move even further back. And you know what? You might move completely behind the line. And now we allow second line to fire. Right, that will work. You will come back. Okay, the enemy managed to uh, contact with the line, but their infantry is breaking as soon as they do. We are kind of uh, heaviest hit over on this side. Let's get these set up, and then we'll get troops here to pull back same with these get a little bit of distance there general will move over to support this unit which is almost completely chewed up by the enemy my cavalry will ride out take out the guns gonna 
get another ability going there. You've triumphed over the enemy. It looks like this worked uh, pretty darn well. Now I do think we started off right, outnumbering the enemy quite a bit. Why? Oh, because they're sitting down in like... That's an advantage the bow has over the rifle. He can kind of shoot around, around these curved areas. The curved blades of the, um, the what's they're called. Let's go ahead and attack the cannons way out here. And once we got through, we should be able to absolutely devastate this one. I mean, there's no, um, there's no question now. We have won the battle. Let's go on and see if we can't capture the territory of Fukushima as well. Decisive victory! We managed to absolutely destroy their army. I lost less than a thousand men while the enemy army lost 75%. 3,000 men out of 4,000. Highest kills goes to the cavalry, chasing down a lot of the troops after the battle. There we got that out of the way. We even got a uh, nice battle marker, historic battle marker. The Battle of Fukushima. Wonderful. May of 1859. Right, there's nothing else here to do than to end turn. Given how successful this is, I might want to start marching this one already. So we're gonna, we're not gonna bring the Brunswickens because they're gonna be part of. I'm hoping that I'll have enough money to actually build a uh, another army with just. Like Brunswick troop, or not just Brunswick troop, with with a lot of Brunswick troop compared to other armies. Now they still have a lot of troops in the area, but I feel as though this army is like it's 50% cannon. Um, this one is not big enough to make an impact. Um, even if they gather here, I have a clear target on their town, so Fukushima will fall. The Northern Alliance come again at the exact same point that we have our famous battle. There's no shot they'll be able to get through. It's the exact same battle, but this time it's raining! Um, I'm sending out my cavalry to hopefully deal with some of this. Um, they kind of caught me off guard as I was setting up. As you can see, they've been able to approach us quite quickly here. 
which is not great. Trying to uh, stop them. There's no way you're going to be able to set up. Move to the side and allow this one to fire instead. No point in you firing standard round shot. Fire canister instead. My cavalry is uh, almost gone. No news there. I almost, I almost always waste my cavalry. It's like a, it's like a thing I do. Move and allow the second line to open fire. Sir, your general is under attack. Sometimes I feel that cavalry charges are a bit feels underpowered. In this, it feels slightly overpowered, I'd say, because. Um, when you, uh, you like a straightforward attack straight into bayonet troops and you end up losing sort of you end up losing like 200 men or not 200 you like a hundred men out of um, you know your unit I think that's a little much like for straightforward charging. My like cavalry is so powerful. It makes sense though that you know you make cavalry powerful because how else would kind of the traditionalist factions be able to uh, hold on? Oh, there's more. Well, when I say more, there's not a lot more, but there are there is some of them. I still have enough till I make it to Fukushima and be able to capture that. God, if I had my cavalry left, we're gonna still have to fight a load of these. Like this one lost 50. They lost like 50 each. These units. But yeah. Uh, sa ex same exact battlefield and more or less same outcome.
this battle went not as well, uh, definitely impeded by a uh, swift cavalry attack by the enemy. I figured out what they made, what mistakes they made in the first one. So we have about five to six hundred more in casualty, and the enemy didn't lose as many, but um, still a victory. Unfortunately, one cavalry unit got destroyed in that fight, the other one remains at eight. Uh, still enough, though, to siege the castle, but I can't fight many more of these battles. Wonderful! We have summer. Something that is not as wonderful is... I got this. Enemy assassin detected. Well, he's detected, alright. He killed the commander. And I didn't even get a message about it. God damn it. Um, the march continues though, although at this point at a much slower rate. And uh, meanwhile, you will make your attempt on the Fukushima castle. Now there's a hell of a garrison. And they will be reinforced by a ton of troops. However, I am still confident in victory. Moving down here, the thing is the Fukushima region is so big and the castle is not like centered or anything. Like the the the, it, the province is massive. Anyone coming from the south, especially during winter, is going to be absolutely destroyed by that. So that's wonderful if we could capture this. I hate the fact that I knew I should have I I should send my assassin to fight their assassin. Assassin off. Anyways, let's see if we can't conduct this siege. Uh, a big problem in this siege will be kind of time-wise, because I'll have to conduct a, a battle where I need to protect against the troops coming in as reinforcement, as well as trying to make my way through all of this crap. But, we're still up for the task, so let's go ahead and charge bravely forward towards the stone walls of Fukushima Castle. Right, as soon as I saw this on the loading screen, I was like, oh shit, this isn't gonna work. Look at this castle. The main point is, of course, that I can't bring my cannons to bear on this because they don't elevate high enough. The only sort of option would be to march the army all the way around and attack this side, which is the easiest side to attack, but even then, this is rather a tall order to attack this castle. And the thing also is this uh, this castle actually has a surprisingly heavy amount of uh, musket troops. So it's musket troops and then bow troops as well. I mean, I haven't started. Let's go and start. Attack, so, I mean, the militia, it's not too bad. If I could burn the wall from afar and kill half of them before I send forward my troop. But here, like, we have to get within shooting range, so it'll be a shooting contest, even with these troops being pretty poor aims. Like, when we're standing uh, 20 meters, 30 f meters, whatever it is, away from them, we're gonna get absolutely shot to pieces. Not only that, I'm sure there's, yeah, there's bow infantry in the back, so we'll be ge getting hit by bullets from the front, bow shots coming in, I'm sure, well, the mortars never fire, do they? But then, once, if I'm even able to subdue this, it, oh, they got bow samurai on this one, that's not too bad, but then they've got levy infantry in the back, and even more. So, even if I were, and then, of course, once I've taken this wall, we have to force our way up into this one. And there's no way. I, I, I can't see us attacking this. We'll have to pull back and we'll lay a siege instead. 
And then we'll have to meet all of these in a really big field battle instead. So I'll be ordering my troops to withdraw. You know what, guys? I have decided against abandoning the siege because looking at the castle, I notice this bit is really shallow up in the uh, end over here. So I'm thinking by putting troops in between me and the center of the castle, I should hopefully actually be able to um, seize control of this without you know major difficulty from the enemy or if they were to move against me then the shock of them having to sort of reclaim their own bloody castle is gonna be uh, too much so right now we're setting up to take control of the back of the castle while the enemy is still focusing on the troops in front. So I'll be setting up troops all around here, making sure they can't get up. And in case you're worried about the uh, reinforcements, they're down there. The cavalry has already moved through and was slaughtered there. And right now I've got a pretty darn good setup for this. I'm gonna go ahead and secure this tower. We're gonna go ahead and secure this tower. We're gonna set see if we can get troops on this wall as well. As well as all the other areas around here. So bringing in more and more troops. I've got my general, he's going to go ahead and support these guys. And uh, yeah, we're uh, going to use their own game against them essentially. So I'm going to take over the tower. The militia troop right there is not doing well. We're about to get into melee. Uh, more enemy troops are coming through. I'm hoping to break most of these. Are we burning the tower yet? This one's soon enough captured. And then I can get these guys onto the wall here. We've got more troops coming up. Even if they break through in this unit, I've got the second one. Nice. Onto the wall right away. Okay, if you don't want to burn it, at least climb the bloody wall. 
Uh, right. Oh, someone's calling. Yeah, Lord on. The enemy realizes that they are surrounded, but it is a little bit too little, too late. The castle is ours. Victory took a little bit longer than I wanted. Victory, but there we go. We have victory. Here's the result of the battle. Heroic victory with that little ruse. An army of 3,500 men was out. Witting the enemy army of almost 9,000 men, where which 7,000 were lost in the battle. Victory all around. 900 killed by this one infantry unit. An astonishing battle. I was quite surprised myself. I thought I'd go around, check the back. And I thought, as I moved portions of my army, they would sort of shadow me inside the castle over to that area. And, like, eventually it would be too hard to break through. But I got up, like, half the army up there. I got them into position. In the end there, when they finally realized they have to get make it way back, then they were run running into a gun you know, gunnery gallery. We were firing down from both sides and firing from the front. It was absolute disaster for them. Right. Oh, and I mean, we lost 700. 200 of those died climbing. Like, a big portion of the army died because the walls were slippery. As you command. But this... It's quite wonderful. This castle is impregnable. It'll be a I mean, they'll be able to siege it, of course, eventually, in time. However, ooh, what I doubled my income from this place. Why? What's so special about this place? Commercial farming? Port? Telegraph, field artillery. What's so special? Why are we making so much gold from this one province? 11,000. I guess it's just because it's a really rich province. Like, this province is so good in so many different ways. And we took it. A wonderful victory. Right. Hopefully it'll go just as well for this one. Although I kind of doubt it. But this is a good start on turning it around now i'm sure i'm gonna have to conduct in the mean in between episodes here i'll be forced to conduct tons of defensive battles down south but we've seen that so many times this is what we're here for gaining ground astonishing victories i mean in a roleplay way we're gonna say it was a, tr it's a ruse it, 
German ruse on the um, Northern Alliance that were able to sneak in into the castle. But yeah, there we go. I spent enough on this one. We have one siege with two battles. It's plenty enough uh, material for one video. So, I'll go ahead and say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.